What's up guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you 5 tips for instant post-production in Photoshop. Let's get started. Hello guys, this is Real from iConcept Architect and if you are new to this channel, I'd like you to hit the subscribe button down below and also click on the notification bell that comes up next. First, open up your render in Photoshop. Now, I'm going to go over here and click on the brightness to increase the brightness of the image and the contrast. I'm going to click the level tab also to increase the highlights of the image. Then I'll click on the curve layer also. Now, I'll use this to also improve the contrast of the image. Now, once you're okay with that, hold down Shift, select every layer here and press Ctrl G to group them into one layer. Next now I'll do is import my render files which include the VRB channel. Now the VRB channel could be anything you have chosen to export prior to your rendering. Now I'm just going to bring in this render file and place it above the base image. I'll change the blend mode to screen and if the effect is too much I'm just going to drop down the opacity here like so. And if you're okay with that you bring in the next render file. So I'll just do the same thing I'll place the render file blend mode to screen. Also drop down the opacity here like so. Once I'm okay with that, let's go to the next step. To create the bloom effect, first we need to duplicate our image by holding down Alt and dragging the image up like so. Now the next thing we're going to do is blow the image by going to filter, blow, Gaussian blow. Now set my radius to 5. Now the image is blurry, the next thing I'll do, I'll go over here and change the blend mode to soft light. This is the bloom effect and if the effect is too much, you can go over here and drop down the opacity, like so. Now once you're okay with that, you can go over to the next step. To sharpen the image, the first thing we need to do is create a copy of our current progress. To do that, select the top visible layer and press Ctrl Alt Shift E to flatten all the images into a new layer. Then you need to desaturate this layer by pressing Ctrl Shift U and place the blend mode to overlay. The next thing to do now is go to filter, order, high pass, and I'll place mine to 10% and boom, the image is sharper now. Now if you want to lessen the effect, you can just go over here to the opacity and reduce the opacity to what you feel like is okay for you. To add background, all you have to do is import your background image, then convert it to a smart object like so, then press Ctrl T on your keyboard to transform the image. Now by holding down Alt and shift you can drag the image and adjust it to fit your render so all you have to do is click on this button right here and drag the image to the base layer like so now try to adjust the image and make sure you're okay with what you're seeing now the next thing to do is import the lens flare i'll just bring in the lens flare and adjust it to fit in the render and try to flip it to match where the sun is coming from now just do some little adjustment like so and click on this button right here I'll place the blend mode to screen. Now it's too bright. So what I'll do, I'll go over here and reduce the opacity like so. But if you look closely, you can see some edges right here. Now to make it blend with your image, all you have to do is create layer mask by clicking this button right here. Now to change the foreground color between black and white, just press X on your keyboard. With the foreground color as black, all you have to do is press B for brush to go over here and reduce the size a little bit and adjust the opacity here. So what I'm going to do now is use the brush to, to blend the lens flare with the rendered image so I can reduce the opacity again, blend the image again. So once I'm okay with that, I can import other lens flare.
now next i'm going to do is drag the base image up like so so i can see the before and the after if you haven't subscribed yet i would like you to hit the subscribe button down below and also don't forget to like this video and drop a comment see you guys in the next video